with jet black hair, and she loved dancing. And she lived in a wee tiny village uh, way over in the west of Ireland in County Mayo. And in those days, you know, you wouldn't get dances in nightclubs as you get now. You'd have to wait for a notes to drop <coughs> on the wall, dance in the parochial hall, such and such a night. And when she saw the notice, she couldn't assume she was going. She had to go to her father and say, may I go to the dance? And if he was in good mood, he'd say yes. But there was always a but. And the but was that he would walk her to the dance and he would walk her home, take her and leave it. <coughs> well, she was walking down the street one day thinking what she'd wear to this dance and she saw a beautiful red dress in the window. And she knew. When she saw it in the shop window, she <coughs> knew this was the dress for her. But when she saw the price of it, not a hope. And you know yourselves when you see something and you really want it, you can't help yourself. And she spoke out loud and she said, I'd give my heart and soul for that dress. And the minute she said that, a voice spoke behind her and said, could I have your heart and soul for that dress? I <laughs> could indeed. And she looked around, there was a young man and he was holding a parcel. And he says, there's your dress. She sat away on. She said, I don't even know you. I can't take a dress from you. He said, sorry, let me introduce myself. My name is Nicholas. Oh, she said, I'm Mary. I've been away from this place, she said, for years. I'm only back home. You're the best looking girl I've seen. Here, take the dress, come to the dance with me. I mean, what would you do? Good looking, mannered, money. She brought them home to meet the parents. And the parents were very impressed. And they allowed them to walk out together. That's all there was to dating in those days. You just walked the roads together. When it came close to the night of the dance, her father said that Nicholas could take her to the dance and Nicholas could bring her home. She wore the red dress. He wore one of those dark suits he always favoured. They walked to the dance, beautiful summer's night. They danced every dance together. And then it was time to leave the brightly lit dance hall and to walk home down a lonely country road where the trees nodded like old men's heads. And as they came down that road, the road forked and there were two ways to Mary's house. There was a long way or there was a shortcut over an old stone bridge. And he turned to go over the bridge. No, she said, we can't go that way. He says, what are you talking about? We came that way. That was daytime, now it's dark. Daddy says it's not safe to go over that bridge at night. Your daddy says, your daddy's not here. Come on with me. And he took her hand and he led her across that bridge. And right enough, she had lost her heart to him long before. So when he stopped on the bridge, her heart was thump, thump, thump in her chest. And she looked up into his eyes and he looked down at hers. And it was as if his eyes were glowing in the dark. And he said to her very quietly, Do you remember the day you said you'd give your heart and soul for the dress? I know I've got your heart, and tonight I'll take your soul. And he just <laughs> ran her, and the bridge opened up, and flames came up. He was dragging her down and down, and she was squealing and roaring. But there was an old priest visiting the sick, and he heard the girl. He ran onto that bridge. He said, Leave that young woman alone. Oh, no, she said, She'd give her heart and soul for the dress. I won't leave here tonight without a heart and soul. And the old man said, take mine. And immediately he let go of the girl and grabbed the priest. She ran home squealing and yelling. And by the time her father and her brothers came up again, with the bridge all sealed over, Nicholas had vanished. And all that remained to the old man was his collar and his beads. And if you go to that village to this day, it's over in the west of Ireland. A place called Pontoon, the name bridge is after it. There's an old stone bridge there that's sealed around with barbed wire. And nobody crosses that bridge night or day. Thank you. Thank you.